I'm Eric Birch with MiningClips.com and I'm speaking with Rob McEwen, Chairman and Chief Owner of McEwen Mining, traded on the in New York Stock Exchange and the TSX under the symbol MUX. Welcome, Rob. Thank you, Eric. You, you, uh, you're a company, you've, uh, you've got a little bit of a different model than most. Uh, most uh, exploration or production companies go out and look for uh, the big kahuna and uh, you know something that takes uh, billions of dollars uh, in, in infrastructure, build out, etc., uh, years to permit, etc. Um, what's your model? How did you get to production so quickly uh, and with so many uh, smaller assets? Well, we merged two companies in 2012 to create McEwen Mining. One of the companies, Minera Andes, had production in Argentina and a copper project down there as well. And the other company, U.S. Gold, had a development pipeline. And the thought of putting the two together was that the production would pay for the development. Unfortunately, Argentina went the other way and the metal price went the other way. And that didn't work out quite as well as we thought. But Today, when we look at projects, we say, one, it has to return an internal rate of return of 20%. Two, you have to get your money back in three years. And three, it has to be low capital. So small capital footprint, quick return of your capital. And so that's guided how we've developed in Mexico. We put $18 million into a past producer. Um, this year it's done 63,000 ounces gold, or 2015, uh, at a cost of um, $430 cash and $580 per ounce all in. So low cost. Um, we got so two sources of production, two development projects, one in Nevada, and it's called uh, Gold Bar, and we expect to have a permit for it a year from now. It's sixty million dollars to build. You get your money back in less than three years. It's seven hundred and thirty dollar cost and it's one of those projects that is not complicated. It's a very easy mine. It's standard Nevada. So we have that and the other one is a silver project in Mexico and we said the silver's on the ground. It's cost it needs eighteen dollars and we're not going to put any money in the ground until it gets to $18 and it meets our threshold of 20% return and a three-year payback and low capex. Well, that's extremely disciplined. Uh, what are your thoughts on metal prices have been flat more or less over the last couple of years. Uh, certainly they've been headed down over the last four. Uh, do you think that like oil are we kind of floating along the bottom here. It's, it's hard to predict when things will go up, but uh, what are your thoughts on the direction of metal prices into the future? I think we're very close to the bottom, if not past the bottom. And too much focus is being placed on the dollar price of gold, the US dollar price of gold, and not enough on the currency swings. So right now, if you looked at other currencies like the Canadian dollar, the Australian dollar, the South African rand, they're only 25% off their highs. But gold in dollar terms is 45% off. And so right now you're starting to see cash flow and earnings appear in producers that have operations in non-dollar zones. And I think in the next three quarters, you're going to see a very big increase in share prices because the cash flow is gonna drive through those statements and deliver earnings that the market will say, where'd they come from? So, one, I don't think we're near the bottom. Two, all the institutions out there, they don't have any money in gold. And when this section starts moving, they're going to move in there with the rest of investors. You can make money here. Uh, I was meeting with a portfolio manager Friday, 22nd of January. Six months earlier, I'd met with him in July 23rd. Between that meeting in July and last Friday, our stock price was up 80%. So, and our story isn't unique. There are other people that are up as well. And that's being totally missed by the market right now, by the broad market. 
Well, I, I certainly thank you for your insights here today, and uh, we'll definitely be keeping an eye on your progress going forward. Thank you, uh, Eric. Wishing you all the best. Thank Great. you. Pleasure.